All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to talk about how to convert back and forth from stereo sound to mono sound, and from mono sound to stereo sound in the event that you've got a microphone with only one audio channel, which, from what I understand, a great deal of them do. And so, the reason I decided to do this tutorial today is I recently had a hiccup when I upgraded to the new Mac OS, and it doesn't always properly detect the secondary audio channel inside of my Blue Yeti microphone. So occasionally it just flubs and I only get one half of my mic audio, which technically, since a lot of microphones record only mono anyway, uh, it's really not a huge problem, you just gotta know what tool to use. So to fix this today, we're going to go to edit and we're going to find the tool called convert sample type. And this is the primary tool that you're going to want to use in order to convert back and forth from mono to stereo and from stereo back to mono. So we'll click on that and we'll set the sample rate to the same as our source sample because we're not really converting the sample rate. We did this at 48,000 hertz. So we'll just leave it at that. And we want to convert this two channels, these two stereo channels, into a mono channel. That's what you choose for your channel setting. And if this was a normal uh, stereo track, you'd want to set your channel mixer to 50% of each of the channel's data will be used to approximate a mono channel by basically just mushing them together and then deleting some of the weirdness that doesn't overlap between the two. But since I've only got one channel that recorded in my stereo channels, I'm just going to set it to record just my left channel, which is the topmost one, and you can tell which is which because there's a little L on the right side of the screen over here. So I'm going to select 100% left mix, I'm going to leave the bit depth the same, and I'm going to select OK. Now it's going to do its mathematician-y stuff, and presto changeo, my slightly clipped voice audio is now a fancy handy dandy mono track. And we can go back to convert sample type. And now we'll select stereo. And we can now convert this mono track back into a stereo file. And now it's ready for me to add my preset and edit it. And if you want to kind of play around with this just a little bit, we can go back to just this file and convert it to mono. There's also a favorite in here called convert to mono or convert to stereo. And this is just a preset designed by Adobe that uses the same tool to do just that. So, well, that's a good way to know that you're doing the right thing when the default examples provided by the manufacturer of the software does the same thing. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Hopefully this has been pretty straightforward and helpful to you. If you have any questions on that, or if you have any comments about other ways that you might recommend converting back and forth from mono to stereo in this or other programs, feel free to drop a comment uh, below and let everybody know, because I'm not a super audio engineer guy, but I'd like to think I do a pretty decent job. So until next time, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, especially if this helped you out. And maybe check out my YouTube channel for gaming, which you can find a link to that uh, in the description. And that, that's it, everybody. Have a good one, and toodaloo!